The molecular formula of a covalent compound will tell you exactly how many atoms of each element are in a molecule of that compound. The empirical formula is the simplest whole number mole ratio of atoms in the compound. Now, if the ratio is one to two, one carbon to two hydrogens, if we double that, the molecular formula would be C2H4. If we triple that, we get C3H6. If we quadruple it, we get C4H8. The molecular formula is a whole number multiple of the basic ratio of the elements in the compound. So one to two ratio, still one to two, still one to two, still one to two, but multiplied by a multiple. The empirical formula has a mass. Carbon weighs 12.0, hydrogen weighs 1.0 times two for a total empirical formula mass of 14.0 grams per mole. If it's twice as big, then the molecular mass will be twice as big. 12 times two is 24, plus four is 28. Three times as much, three times 14 is 42. Four times 14 is 56. So not only is the molecular formula a whole number multiple of the empirical formula, the molecular mass is also a whole number multiple, the same whole number multiple, of the empirical mass. Here's how you can use that information to find the molecular formula. Before we do this, I have to tell you, this is one of the easiest things you can do in chemistry, but it's also one of the easiest to forget how to do. So bookmark this video. Before you take your test, watch it again and again. Before you take your final or state exam, watch it again and again. This is one you need to bookmark because this, though it's insanely easy, is just as easy to forget how to do. Your first step is to find the formula mass of the empirical formula. Here's the empirical formula. 12.0 times two for the two carbons plus 1.0 times 3 for the three hydrogens. 24 plus 3 is 27.0 is equal to the empirical formula mass. Step 2. Take the molecular formula mass, molecular mass, and divide it by the empirical formula mass. 54.0 divided by 27.0. This will always give you a whole number, in this case, 2. Because the molecular mass is twice as big as the empirical mass, the molecular formula will be twice as big as the empirical formula. So step three, take the multiple times the empirical formula, two times C2H3, and that will give you your molecular formula, C4H6. Two times two is four, two times three is six. And all molecular formulas get solved exactly the same way.